They call their relatives in Russia. They tell how the whole battalions are destroyed. They say that they kill civilians. They say that it's not their war. But what do they hear in response? You're all so politically unprepared there, and I really want to come and beat this out of you. This is only one of the calls of Russian occupiers to their parents intercepted by the security service of Ukraine. The overall belief among Russians in Russia, their army attacked Ukraine not to be attacked by Ukraine. The same higher purpose was declared by Belarusian so-called president. So they really believed that the country of this side was going to invade these two countries. But the Russia didn't just lead them into attack. The Russia didn't allow them to get out of the combat. We wanted to turn away and leave because we didn't need this war, but the brigade commander told us that our own soldiers will execute us. This is one of the many similar statements of the captured Russians. They die in Ukraine by the thousands. Their country doesn't even want to get back the bodies, as usual, pretending they didn't exist. 17,300 Russian soldiers are killed due to the Ukrainian armed force data. The Russians' numbers are more than 10 times under. The BBC reports that so-called Cargo 200 went from Ukraine to 70 from 80 regions of Russia. Many of them died on the drills or under unknown circumstances, and here is why. Families of the soldiers who were killed during the special military operation in Ukraine will receive the insurance compensation of 7,431,000 rubles. This is Putin's statement from the 3rd of March. For that day it was about $67,000, now it's less. And considering the 17,300 Russian troops died in Ukraine, it's going to be around $1,100,000,000 for the country where they fight for sugar and demand McDonald's to come back. There are absolutely no mentions of the families who received this money. Which is weird for the country that film fakes every day. There are also another insurance payment, 3 million rubles for every wounded soldier, about $27,000. For example, these soldiers would apply for this compensation. For them, special military operation was sort of surgery. Somebody left one-handed, another one-legged. But instead of money, they receive diplomas and medals and inspiring words of commander. I reward you, congratulations. I wish you to get well, get back on your feet. Yes, correct. The commander wishes one-legged soldier to get back on his feet. Due to official Russian data, there are almost 4,000 wounded troops. Armed forces of Ukraine have counted at least 10 times more.